this is Ben with ProSound Communications. We're live at the 2013 NAMM Show. Welcome to Reality Web Video. I'm here with Phil Jones of Phil Jones Base Amps. Thanks for, thank, first of all, thanks, thanks for letting us share your booth this year. We well, greatly uh, appreciate it. The audience, we're proud we, to have you here. Well, we want to take the time out to uh, you know, let everybody know about some of the products you have and some okay. of the new products that you have. You've got a new guitar amp out called the Air Pulse 1.8. Well, the 1.8, one eight, yeah. Which it's, is a uh, 500,000 watt amplifier. Yeah, yeah, well, you know, we, we, we're known for breaking the rules of amplifications, sure, you know, sure. uh, with a small speaker for the bass. And I wanted to come out with a, a, a guitar amp. At the end of the day, the most important thing is the tone, the sound. Sure. You know? And it doesn't really matter how you get there. People talk about tubes and saying, well, you know, solid state can't sound like tubes. And now with digital amps, digital amps don't sound like good solid state amps. I, I say, look at cameras, you know. Look, everything's digital camera now, you know. Nobody uses film and technology's moving ahead. We want to be with that. So we developed a, a, a new kind of amplifier. It's a... Uh, Five watt practice, actually it's a 500 watt amp. Yeah. <laughs> Here, this is the Air Pulse 18. And we're talking about 25 pounds. 25 pound, it's called a 18 because it's got one eight inch speaker in it, yeah. okay? But it's 500 watts. Now, this amp is really designed for electric guitar. You know, we've got acoustic guitar amps, but this sure. is a, a, a solid body to an arch top jazz guitar. It covers all genres of, of playing. But the, the thing about it is, it's a very simple, easy amp to use. It's got natural tone, and it's got a three band EQ. You got your input level here. You got your master volume here, bass, mid, and treble. So it's, it's a great pedal amp. And we have an effects loop on the back, right? Effects loop, yeah, but the effects loop, you see, it's got a effects blend. So you can blend in nice. the effects. You got a line out. There's a DI out. The DI out is tailored response to match the tone of the amplifier. So when you go through a PA system and you use your distortion pedal, you don't want to hear those uh, overtones that are not coming through your speaker and then they come up through the horns and make the sound nasty, sure, you know? Sure. So it's got the same kind of warm tone through a PA with the DI, whether you mic it or DI it, you know? Sure, sure. So basically, and it works on any voltage, it's 500 watts digital power. It's not an analog amp. and uh, you know, when you hear that, you're going to think, wow, it's going to sound nasty. So I think the best thing to do is to get you know, John to play and get an idea of what the thing can do with tone, you know? Yeah, let's surprise people. I, I mean, think the they'll the be other, very pleased. The other thing is this amplifier is 125 dB output at one meter, acoustic dB. That is uh, unheard of before. Wow. And the reason is we've got new technology in the speaker. The speaker is a liquid cold ferrite magnet, eight inch driver. We've got very, I can't even talk about the voice call, but it's so secret. We've got a whole bunch of things, but it's a 500 watt, eight inch loudspeaker. The amp can with 800 watts and it'll take it. And we've got a patent applied for on, on the uh, event here, which is convector cooling, patents applied for. How it works is that the, it's a vented speaker to give you some more bass. Vented from the bottom so it yeah, sucks well, the air there's, in, there's right? There's two vents that here, it suck the air in here. The, the speaker heats up the air, the hot air rises, the cold air comes in, and keeps the speaker cool. We got 30% more power handling out of that. So, nice. which is reliable. You know, we don't want a blown speaker at the end of the night. You know. Sure. So reliability to me is what's the key. You know. Hey, this is John Bendy and his brother Mike on bass. You're going to hear from him in a minute. If you haven't heard of John Bendy, man, you got to go see this cat, right? Well, hey, you're helping us out not only with the pedals but with the amps this weekend. We had the ear pulse, you know, one eight. Yeah. I know you're going to take us through, but. If people want to learn more, a little bit more about your plan and what's going on with you, where can they find you? A uh, ton of videos on YouTube. Just type in John Bendy. You'll get pages and pages of stuff. Well, like I said, he's, uh, he's a scary guitar player. Makes guys like us want to quit. So, But, John, you're going to do a little uh, sample here. Yep. Uh, is your brother going to play with you now? Yeah, or? yeah we're going to jam out. Yeah. Okay, so let's do that. Let's let uh, let you guys hear in. And basically, we're, we're using the uh, the Pulse uh, 1.8. Yep. Are we having effects? Are we dry? Uh, EP boost and then for and the BB. Great, so you'll hear the EP and also the BB through the amp, this 500 watt tiny monster, if you will. Hey John, take it away bud.
got done hearing the uh, Bill Jones guitar amps, but you guys are really known for uh, the, the, the bass amps. And I remember one damn show, we were working a booth, and I hear somebody just going off on the bass. I turn around, and it's the Phil Jones bass, you know, bass amp playing. I was like, wow, that just sounds incredible. So that's really what, you've, uh, you're, what you're known for. Well, yeah, I'm a bass player myself, so sure. I studied uh, classical bass in music college, and before that, I studied electronics. So I put the two together, and I started building bass amps, you know? <laughs> So, uh, you know, I have my own idea of how a bass should sound. Everybody's got that idea. To me, it's got to sound as natural to the, the, the instrument and respond to the player's technique, you know, uh, because uh, with, uh, with, when you're playing, uh, you, 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 your playing is determined by how you hear the sound. It's like if you're yeah, in a place with a little reverberation, it affects the way you're playing. You know? Absolutely. So if you've got a perfect tone, you're going to play better. So that's our speakers are very fast, very responsive. Very wide dynamic range, very wide frequency range, very high SPL without coloration. You know, what, like what, you can get in the studio. Why don't you take us through some of the amps okay. from the smallest well, to the biggest here? This is our smallest bass amp. I call it the double four. It has two four inch speaker. Okay? Um, you think, how on earth can two four inch speaker give you uh, any bass? Well, it's kind of smoke and mirrors we've got at the back here a rectangular passive radiator. So you've got the combined radiating area of this, plus this, which is equal like, like an eight inch speaker. Oh, wow. It's a 75 watt amplifier. This amplifier is all digital. It's even the preamp is digital. As soon as it goes in there, it's digital. It's got a microprocessor in there. Uh, that enables us to build a really, really high performance, high quality preamp at a low cost. This is $449 street price. Nice. And it's the only amp that sounds like a real bass amp, this sound. So it's smaller than a shoebox, but it's got real, it'll handle low B string with ease, and it's designed for, you know, at home you want to have a great tone, practicing, you know, you've got an auxiliary input for your, for your iPhone or iPlayer here, you know, headphone out if you want to play in quiet, you know, and it's, it's not a gigging amp, but it's, it's a, you know, I believe if you have a practice amp, it's still going to sound as good as the uh, sure. stage so right. that's it, you know. Well, we've been hearing a lot of the the, is it the D600, correct? Yeah, yeah. The D600, uh, again, is an all digital amp. Um, 630 watts output to RMS. Very, very lightweight package. And uh, we've got it coupled here with our compact 8 loudspeaker. This is 8 Horana uh, ferrite magnet speakers, which have got more punch than the neodymium. Sure. But we are worried about the weight, so we made a, a smaller to more condensed cabinet, lightweight cabinet that still has uh, the power and the punch and a low frequency response as well. So, uh, it, you know, it's designed for, you know, small, you know, if you're, if you're getting around a small place, you can carry this around with ease, you know? Yeah. And it's, it, again, it's all about the tone, tone of the body. Sure, sure. Yeah. Well, we've got the other brother, Mike Bendy here. Yeah, and, they, and uh, the guys just heard him play. But uh, I think they're going to play again for us. Yeah, Let sure. us hear the D600. Yeah. The other thing we've got on top here is the bass liner. Uh, how how yep. from Japan. Now, this the why we're using this. It's it's our preamp. It's our our circuit inside this paddle. So it's the same Bill Jones tone in the paddle here as you got here. If you want the sound of BJB, get yourself a Hal paddle. Nice, nice, very good. So hey, they're going to give us a sample yeah, now. Yeah, sure. <laughs> Amps, the bass amps, where are they going to go? 
www.philjonespuresound.com. Hey, Phil Jones, got the Bendy Brothers. I'm Ben with Procyon Communications, live at NAMM 2013. 2013. Take care now.